morning guys and welcome back to my channel if you haven't watched me before my name is Loxy and this is my gardening channel and if you haven't done so already I'd love for you to subscribe and today I thought Bertie is moving my camera I've got Bertie with me today Bertie sit sit good boy um, and today I was just thought I'll do a bit of a vlog as to what I've done in the garden and what I'm going to do in the next few weeks. I've got a big soil delivery coming on the 21st of February so I need uh, to do lots and lots for that and um, I'm just really excited because it's spring isn't it? I keep thinking about what my garden is going to look like and all the other things that I need to do. And there's quite a lot that I need to do. I still need to build quite a few beds. I need to fill quite a few beds and um, get, get it ready for planting really. But I thought the thing that I'm gonna start with, first of all, is getting some flowers in. These are not the flowers that I've grown. I just bought these from the shop. But as um, many of you will know, I've got bees in the back of my allotment. Look, that's the other allotment. And it's got bees and I want to invite them into my allotment if I can get them used to flying to my direction <laughs> with all the plants I planted in and um, so I thought I'll just pop some plants some flowers onto the table so uh, they are here for the bees if the bees want them so Bertie shall we do it shall we do it Bertie, Bertie? come on So I thought today I'll just bring you along some of the jobs that I'm going to be doing today and take you through what I do. Compost ready. From when I was little, my mum used to always tell me to put rocks in the bottom of a pot for drainage. So that's what I've got here. Some rocks. The allotment. Plan these in. Shall we plan them in? Beautiful. It's getting a bit windy now. So let's take you around what we do. <laughs> so I filled quite a few beds. I filled this one, this long one, and we've got some more here. And it looks like a cat has found my compost likes to walk through it apparently everywhere look <laughs> everywhere so I'm wondering how I'm gonna have to protect this from the cat is there anything the cats don't like I don't know guys you let me know I've got some more beds to fill and the, that's gonna be the soil fill this one as well um, and it's all starting to come together I start walking around look the cat has been everywhere it's actually dug up some of these strawberries so Evidence. 
buried its poo. I don't know what to do with them. I've got, oh look, the rhubarb. I didn't realize how huge it was going to be. And it's really loved where I've put the wood chips on the top of it. I've just uh, moved the wood chips back. I might put some more wood chips around it actually, because it seems to really, really like it. So I'm going to, because these ones are the ones that sprouted through the wood chip and up here. Um, and there's nothing really growing here where there was no wood chips. So I think I'm going to end up putting some more wood chip around there. And we've got horseradish. That's a lovely gentleman has given me from um, his garden. I'm hoping it looks like it's starting to grow, doesn't it? So we'll see how that goes. I actually want to put some um, some wildflower seeds in here as well. So I think I might just do that now. So these are the seeds that I got. And then all it says that you have to do is rake, shake, and then water. So shall we do that? I'm hoping it's not all gonna come up as dandelions. So, <laughs> but we'll see, right? I'll keep you updated. So shake. Rake, um, I don't have like a little rake, but we'll just do it with hands. Okay, take it, take it, take it. Oh, yeah, and let's go get a watering can. Put the water. Just to know. Yeah. There's also a rosemary that I need to plant as well. So I would just want to show you this bit because a lot of people aren't sure what happens to the wood chips and the cardboard when you put them down. This is a really thick cardboard that I had put down. So it's still here. I've put it down maybe about two months ago. This is what it looks like. Can you see this is the cardboard that I've put down and this is the wood chip. All of this you see there's like bits of white on the wood chip. This is just how the wood chip is decomposing. Um, and that's how it would decompose, like for example, on the forest floor. This is how it's meant to be. And all you do is go through the cardboard and plant the plant in and just bring the wood chips back around. So that's what we're gonna do. chips all around it. I've also come to a bit of realization that actually I might not have the majority of the allotment ready for this growing season. I mean this is my first year here and it was quite a mess. All the plastic that I had to pull up and get rid of and yeah, it's just been really slow progress. I thought it'd be a lot faster than this, but obviously not. And I think I'll make as many beds as I can and fill as many as I can, and then add more in next year if I can, even if it just means having a wood chip down to begin with, especially areas like over here. Can you see where I have sort of between these two beds, this is an area here that I want to build some more in over there that's free and it needs to be built on but i'm thinking about putting in a little wildlife pond as well for the children and all the frogs they are going to be finding and obviously frogs are really good for the garden as well and slow controls 
Ooh, got really windy there for a second. Face is all red. Anyway, um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. It was, this was just a really quick video to show you what's going on in my garden at the minute and a bit of a February tour and just to show you what my plans are for the future. I mean, just like I said, I realized that actually I might not have the whole plot ready by the time summer comes, but I can only do as much as I can, right? And uh, I will just add more and more into it as I go through the years, basically. So thanks very much and I'll see you soon. Bye.